Summertime is a very famous song from the folk opera Porgy and Bess. Porgy and Bess was written by George Gershwin, Dubose and Dorothy Hayward, and Ira Gershwin. Dubose and Dorothy Hayward were a married couple, and George and Ira Gershwin were brothers. The paintings in this book are done by Mike Wimmer. Published by Aladdin Paperbacks. Mike Wimmer dedicated this book to Elijah and Lauren. I sang this song to you every night and now I give it to you forever. Summertime! Look at this picture. There are three children and they are playing outside on a rope swing. Have you ever been on a rope swing? You climb a high hill and you hang on to the rope and then you jump and swing out over the water, let go, and you splash into the water. It doesn't cost a thing and it's totally fun. painting, we see a man taking a nap. He is sleeping on a patchwork quilt, which you may have seen at your house. Patchwork quilts were originally used to keep people warm. Sometimes we see them now displayed as works of art because they're so beautiful, but originally most of them were just blankets that people used to keep warm. The boys are tickling the man's nose with a piece of grass. I'll bet he's going to be angry when he wakes up. Fish are jumping. So in this painting, the kids are fishing with cane poles. That's not an expensive fishing pole, but she still caught a fish. You can see a can of worms, and it looks like the older uh, guy is holding a whole string of fish that they've caught. She's very excited. And the cotton is high. In this picture, the girl is taking a bucket of water to her father who's working out in the field. Now, this is not a family that is enslaved. These are just people that lived maybe a hundred years ago and they worked on the farm. They grew and picked cotton. Now look carefully at this picture. Let's start at the bottom. Look at the floor on the porch. The paint is peeling. It looks like there might be some loose boards. The girl's barefoot, but she's probably barefoot because it's hot and it's fun to run around without shoes in the summer. Her dress looks like it may have a patch on it where it's been repaired. And the dad is giving his daughter something. It looks like a little coin. It's silver, so it might be a quarter or a nickel. That's not a lot of money, but maybe there are some other ways that you can be rich besides with money. And your mice good looking. Here we see the mom making an apple pie. She's rolling out the dough for the crust and the little girl is peeling the apple with an old fashioned machine. She turns the crank and the apple turns 
and the peel comes off so that it can be used in the apple pie. So, so hush, little baby, don't you cry. Look at the kids in the bed. They have another patchwork quilt covering them. And how many children do you see in the bed? One, two, and then look at the little girl's face. You can see her face outlined by her dad's leg. There are three kids in that bed. And mom is holding the baby while dad checks in on everyone after a long day's work. He looks like he loves them very much, doesn't he? Have you ever spent the night with your friends or your family and everybody piles into the same bed? Maybe that's what they're doing. Or maybe they share a bed every night. in this picture we are looking across a field at a great distance we're looking a long way away so one of these mornings I think the words mean in a long time in the future you're going to rise up singing now, some of you have been in a situation like this where there are fancy benches called pews and people hold books or read words from a screen and sing together. Looks like these kids might be at church because they're dressed very nicely. So the little girl rose up singing. How did she rise up? She's standing on the pew. Then you'll spread your wings. Does she really have wings? No, but she feels like she's flying when she holds her arms out and runs fast. By the way, doesn't cost a thing and is really fun. And you'll take to the sky. What are they looking at in the sky? Do you see it? The butterfly. The butterfly is part of nature and nature is free. Actually, it's priceless and it's here for us to enjoy. But till that Again, we're looking a long way away, and I think the artist is expressing the thought that something's going to happen a long time from now. When you're grown up, you have many things you're going to do with your life, but right now you're a little kid, and your job is to grow up and be healthy and happy and have fun. There's a nothing can harm you. So kids always laugh when they see this picture because the baby doesn't have any clothes on. But look at the dad. I think he's holding the baby right after the baby's bath. Do you think the dad is going to let anything hurt that little baby? Look at his face. No, he's crazy about his little baby. He's going to protect him. With daddy and mama standing by. Now look at this picture. 
who is in the very middle of the picture? The baby. The baby is the most important person in this painting. Everyone is staring at the baby because something very important is happening. He's learning to walk. I want you to pay attention to who surrounds the baby. We've got the kids sitting on the steps, so maybe those are the brothers and sisters and cousins and friends. We've got two older people on the porch. Maybe that's grandma and grandpa. And then mom and dad are standing behind the baby, watching the baby take his first steps. Everyone is there to help that baby throughout his life, to help him be healthy and happy and to grow up to be a good person. I want you to think about the picture of your own life with you at the center. You are surrounded by people who care about you and who want you to have a wonderful life, including your family and your friends. And you know who else is invested in you and really wanting the best for you? Your teachers. And I hope you have a super fantastic summer and I'll see you later.